last of them. Now this is Lord Carrington. Good old Lord Carrington. Uh, the last words. So I would, I would say it was perfect. I loved your final bass. Oh, <laughs> that was fantastic. Well, thank you. I think the lighting helped. <laughs> yeah, we can go with that if you want. <laughs> that was my favorite. Part. When we saw that, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's the ending. I just, it belongs as, as a screensaver somewhere. As, okay. as you all know, I had no idea that this was about his last words. <laughs> and 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 literally didn't get the part of the twist at the end where Night Nurse was in there until we were almost filming. And I said, well, how do we show that on film? We need to show that. I mean, I was really, he was, he hated me that day. He was like, <laughs> stop talking. <laughs> stop. But. We figured it out. Yeah. yeah. It was, it was one of those I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't grasp it. And then, you know, we took a couple of shots at that shot that we were looking at. Connor and I, this is it. I go, that's it. <laughs> that was it. That's with it. the pen. With that's the it with the pen. <laughs> the pen and the look and the it's eyes. The pen. Yeah. You know what you know what threw me into it though? Was your post on Facebook when you did the Halloween thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the Halloween. Do, you, do you remember you did and you had the, the, yeah, the gash the makeup thing. The makeup gash, whatever it was. Oh, that was Comic-Con. Walking Dead Comic -Con. Type of thing, yeah. <laughs> so I said, we gotta get something like that. Because that's the look we were looking for. for uh, the so luckily we had some shots. You drew it out of her naturally. It was thinking of gashing, you know, something, but <laughs> <laughs> that never. That's an, and you, what do you think? Yeah, I, I was surprised eh, when it, from the very first scene where she pulls down the bed and Lord Carrington walks in, I, I began to feel good about how the, the humor was playing out and how mm -hmm. the, the uh, interactions were between people were working. Yep. You know, that was, it, was, uh, it was a lot of fun just to, to watch it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I admired all of you as on, on the set from the words that you had to say and the amount of words that I had to look up to find out the meaning. <laughs> <laughs> I had to look up prescribed. I'm like, oh, what? What is the reaction on my face on the school button? Well, I have to admit that uh, not just saying the words, but having to say them in, a, in, a, in some kind of a British accent was <laughs> at times challenging. Wow, it was very well done. Very well done. I was very impressed. <laughs> <laughs> you said something to it. Larry. Sir. You went into this um, with yeah, I think you had a great expectation because you, you talked to me about your cast. Uh, you were very fortunate enough to get us the location in which we were able to film. Indeed. Which we should thank your daughter again. Yep. And, and uh, well, uh, her daughter, your name and, and the husband and, and Millie the dog. Yep. Okay. It's giving them a credit now. Oh, oh, oh. Um, <laughs> Marissa <laughs> Brown, Gary Cooper, and Millie the dog. Yeah. Millie May. Millie May the dog. Yeah. So thank you very much for arranging the location. No um, problem. And uh, it was great to film in, in, in some place that we knew. We were worried where, how this was going to be. We didn't want it to be a fake studio look. And that having that real bedroom, as blue as it was. It was great. <laughs> your thoughts on the final product? I know I talked to you about it, but tell the audience and the cast what your thoughts oh, The final product was... It far exceeded my expectations. Um, I, I knew, and you had high expectations. And I had high expectations. It's true. <clears throat> I knew it was going to be good. I didn't think it was going to be that good. Um, uh, I knew that I had three phenomenal actors, and they even raised the bar on on those expectations. You guys were were just purely amazing. Now, when I, when I first when I first read this script. I read like eight of Chris's, mm -hmm. Christopher's. Yes. Yeah. I call him Chris because he doesn't like it. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so. so I read eight, I think eight of his scripts. Mm -hmm. And I liked almost all of them. Um, but this one, from the very beginning, was the one that I liked the most. His, his use of language, the depth of the language that he, that he used, and how that affected not only the humor, but the... the the flowing of the plot, even. 
uh, was was just was just amazing. Mm -hmm. Joe, I know you didn't especially like the script initially. No, I didn't understand it. There's nothing. There's, <laughs> I, I didn't say I didn't like it. I didn't understand it. Yeah, it doesn't mean I didn't. I like. There is something about um, that particular language, particularly with a uh, British accent, that the rhythms of the language, mm -hmm. the uh, way you know, sentences rise and fall and flow mm -hmm. together, have to come out. Just right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because if they don't, the humor is missed. Yep. So when you're reading it sometimes, you're not mm -hmm. sure where the humor yeah. is because yeah. you can't yet yeah. see yeah. it. Yeah. 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 And he captured it perfectly in yeah. the words. You captured it perfectly in the, uh, in, in the acting, in, in the speaking of those words, uh, of putting them forth. Actually, this is the first time that I realized why she, why she killed him. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't. Oh, that I got. I didn't see that. Oh, that I got, and I got it from yeah. your facial expression too. <laughs> well, he told no. He told her to That's kill. That's what. Him. Yeah, yeah, he did. I didn't see that. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Strictly. Yeah. That was his yeah. That's my final words. Is it? <laughs> These are my final words. This is, is it. Right down. Well, there you go. Stupid me. That's no, no. You I learned still love it. But you yeah. I wasn't doing a good enough job. I had to step up my game. <laughs> step up the game. That's right. <laughs> But to, to your point, I think you, you hit the nail on the head with me. I, I read things and I don't necessarily, I, 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 I'm very like, I got to get for I got to do, do, and I don't absorb it enough until I hear it. Like mm. in the audition component, like when you, when you chose this script as one of the ones you wanted to do. Yep. And I like, that's okay, fine. That's what you want to do, right? Let's audition for it. Then when I heard people read for it. Then I'm like, oh, I, I get it. Still didn't get the, 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 yeah. the things there, everything else, until it was getting closer. But I think you're absolutely right that hearing the, the words being said and the way they're saying, I'm like, this isn't funny until it's delivered. You think it's a comedy? You think it's a drama? You think it's a dramedy? What do you think it is? Dark comedy. Yeah, dark comedy. Yeah, dark, yeah, dark comedy. Every reason I ask is we're, as we enter these into festivals, I got to put them in a category. <laughs> you know, I, I wouldn't even say it's a dark comedy. It's just yeah. a comedy it, in, in much in the style of, of, of comedies such as um, a Monty Python oh, or something true. like yeah. that. Yeah. 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 Right, <laughs> where, where it seems like this ought to be dark because mm -hmm. the guy's going to get killed at the end. Yeah, but you don't but on the other hand, but you don't know that. Yep. And... So until that very last moment, there's nothing dark about it. It's, it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. So Katrina, who's behind the camera, I'm going to ask you something. You know, you, so you, this is the first time you've seen this. Okay. I think you may have, you, that's right. That's right. I, I don't yeah. think I've shown it to you. I think you may have read the scripts as we were early on. Um, what do you think of the final product? Because this is a person who's not been involved in the process of it from beginning to end. What do you think? I really enjoyed it. My favorite scene, my de favorite clip, was definitely the shot of the pillow in your face. <laughs> <laughs> is it Lorraine? Yes. yes. Lorraine's face, that pillow, like that shot. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Was a fluff. The, the fluff. fluff. Yeah. <laughs> like the fluff. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Thank you. I know that other people were there. And we experienced. It's always nice to get somebody's fresh perspective on it because they may know the material, but when they see something for the first time. I always like to hear, ask them how they're doing. Thank you, Katrina. I will say, I missed, too, that he told her to kill them when I read it previously. When I read it, right. Yes. Yep. So, yeah. I looked at watching it, I was like, oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, I initially thought he, she was just pissed off at him. That's and what I thought, too. You know, I'm, 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 I've had enough of this. Move, no. You know. yeah. <clears throat> A little distract. Um, you guys have done stage before, correct? And this is film. You've done films before. What do you prefer? <laughs> What do you prefer, stage or, or, or film, and, and, and which, or both, and why? You know, I've been enjoying doing film the last few years, you know, short films and, and uh, television films, that type of thing. Um, and the thing I enjoy about that is that you can get into a situation, and even though you're doing multiple takes, mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes doing just one thing five times, and nonetheless, you can be there, be in the moment, Get what you want out of it, yeah. and you're done. Whereas on stage, you have to try to do that every night mm -hmm. for a whole run. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, when you're on stage, you get a lot of help from the situation itself. Mm -hmm. You you get the audience helping you out. You mm -hmm. get the you know all of the production values, the lighting, the sound, the, the set, all that helping you out, and so you can really explore 
a character or explore a story mm -hmm. in ways that are, are more immediate and more um, in the moment for the audience than film does. Mm -hmm. uh, which is why I kind of I kind of wish I could see myself on stage sometimes because <laughs> well come to an ACT show we'll no. film you and you can watch it. <laughs> um, but yeah no that's that's for me the difference I, I mm -hmm. love being on stage mm -hmm. it's a, it's just a, it's weeks and weeks and then you get up and you have to get it every night uh, here I can work on a character work on a script beforehand mm -hmm. come in work with the director mm -hmm. get it done and <laughs> then I get to see it later <laughs> Lorraine. Yeah, this was my first time doing film, um, so it's weird to trust the process uh, for the feedback aspect of it. Mm -hmm. And stage, you're getting it in real time. Um, and so there's that added element, too, of actually finally being able to see yourself like, oh, that's how that came across, or oh, that's what I was going for, that worked. Or um, it's captured versus live theater where if you're there you catch it <laughs> if you weren't there you missed it you know um so it's nice that you get to, your final product always stays the way it was cut together you know i would i would you make a point and talk about trusting the process the process is a little different for everybody um i think a lot of what works in this has to do with the editing mm-hmm and then, you know, how the how particular clips or scenes were chosen, how they mm -hmm. would fit in, how you went from one to the other mm -hmm. and so forth. Uh, it helps direct the audience to things that mm -hmm. are going to make a difference for mm -hmm. them. Whereas on stage, it's all there. Mm -hmm. And people well, choose to watch versus they are and directed. And to you watch. are never quite sure yeah. what they're looking at yeah. right. or yeah. paying attention to. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But I think. You know, you start out, you say, okay, if, if, I, if I didn't trust the process, I'd never get up here. <laughs> <laughs> we, hear that, we hear that a lot about some of the films we've done. They're like, I don't know what they're doing here. I don't know how this is going to work. I don't know how this is going to look. And I think a lot of it is, and I have a question for you that I think could be volatile in a minute, but before we get there, and. Uh, have you done stage before or just <coughs> films or I know you've done stage in, 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 in stories of Boulder Park with us. Last time before that, yep. it was 20 years. Okay. Wow. So wow. it was a while. So you've done a, a play with us this spring and, yes. and a film. Gravitate towards one or the other or both or just? Both. Yeah. <laughs> I love working with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> we love working with you too. I just... Um, I always have that, uh, you need to speak louder when I'm on stage. On stage, yes. yes. <laughs> and hear your voice is perfectly fine. Okay, good. <laughs> but that's my only drawback for stage. Like, okay. I have to be loud. And big. I'm not a big. Right. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't know what to yeah. say, but. Yeah. That's what directors you, are yeah, for. Well, you can draw, yeah, draw yeah. that out. <laughs> with film, you can capture a lot more nuance, nuance whereas right. yeah. well, depending on the stage you're on, right? <clears throat> right. So in uh, smaller uh, stages, yeah. you can do a little bit yeah. more nuance, but the uh, the bigger it is, the, you just, they want the bigger actions. And I'm like, I don't want the bigger. Because it feels <laughs> foolish, where this it can be more natural so, and true. So while I ask Larry the next question, I'm going to throw the following question to Larry to the three of you, what your what was your favorite line to say in the in the in the film? So think about that while I ask Larry the next question. So think about that, and also, uh, how did you prepare for your character going into it? What was your thought process? Because I'm always interested in to see what, what were you trying to think of and what were you trying to portray. So those two questions are coming your way. So while we wait, Larry, this is what I've been dying to ask you since probably the ending of the film. So. The, just to give background, we go to film that day, and one of the things, and this, uh, Delari doesn't know the question yet, so he's like, what the hell is he going to ask me? But um, it's difficult to work with me in a lot of different ways, and, 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 and here's why, <laughs> control freak guy. But on the day of the filming, I felt like Larry, I always look at Larry as directing the actors to say how they want to say the lines and what, how you deliver them and, and how, your, how your inflections are and, and directing the actors. But when Connor and I get there, we take control over what we are filming, how we're filming 
the, the, the cuts we're taking, the editing, the not the the editing component comes later, and Connor and I spent a lot of late nights going back and forth on which one we want to use for the things, to your point. So, Larry, as we are now we're on film, how difficult is that to, as a director coming in, knowing the directors, and all of a sudden you've got the Joe Connor team coming in saying, well, we're going to take this, we're going to do this, we're going to have this, we're going to open this door, we're going to do this, we're going to get this, we're going to do that. Because I think when we're looking at the script, I look at it as how I'm going to film it, Mm -hmm. how I'm going to capture the words that he's directing you to say. And I think it where we were, I wouldn't say struggling, I would say trying to find the balance of after the day, you're like, why am I even here? Like you're doing all of this up close and this way goes, why am I here? And it, and it felt bad because that's not an intention. That's, I want to capture what you wanted those actors to say, but yet I'm me, Connor, going in corners, doing other things. So how difficult was that? Generally speaking, that aspect of it didn't bother me a lot. <clears throat> um, there were a few times when I had a shot in mind and that just got... It was kind of a, yeah, go away, kid, you bother me, kind of a kind of a thing with that. And, yeah, okay, that, mm-hmm. that, was, that was all fine. It was one or two times when I'd go over to Lorraine and or Anne, and I'd, I'd position them, and I'd say, you know, mm-hmm. you know I'm supposed to be the director here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. but, uh, but by and large, it didn't bother me because I knew ultimately the, uh, the end product was going, to be, was going to be good. I gotta say, <clears throat> uh, the editing on this one, um, if you remember back when we did Luke, meets Charlene. Yes, with the one camera. With the one camera. And uh, I had so much different kinds of editing to do because you had so many different shots. Um, When I saw the draft of that, the first edit of that, I had a lot of Mm -hmm. of notes, you know, fix this, fix (laughs) that, fix that. He called me picky pants and all kinds of other (laughs) names. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Phil, I didn't mean mean to take your, your, I didn't mean to do that, but (laughs) you should have seen the notes. But this one, uh, when I saw it, I, no, editing was was superb on this one. You guys did a great job. Well, I, I think complain. I think the, the the thing with that is when we get to these guys is that um, going in with a plan on what we want to film and trusting that the director is going to get the actors ready and having the actors be ready is phenomenal to do that. Having that second camera, and as you notice, oh, ever good. since Luke and Charlene, then yep. every film that we've done after that, the two camera shot yep. just gives you so many more options. Yep. Um, also having uh, Karen and uh, Connor and I look at the continuity components. Mm-hmm. If you notice, like when your hand was up, whatever angle, <laughs> your hand was still up. It wasn't like his hand was up, his was, hand was up. Yeah. Like in Luke and Charlene, like, there were moments where their hands were up and then the next thing you know, the hands were down. Like, how did that happen? And like, it, it, we didn't even see it happen. The, the lifting of your legs on the, on the car, on the thing, when you're, when you're talking, your legs were going up when you were aggravated. Your voice was, your leg was going up and it was still there as opposed to like uh, uh, other angles. So having those two cameras, knowing where to take those shots, uh, having it, from one side to the other side, and it seems seamless. I think definitely on your side a lot, because you were you both were in the corner a lot. There wasn't a lot of different angles we could get other than where you were standing. With your side, we, we got it from many different angles, so we got to see your facial expressions in multiple ways. You know, the stage work helps with that, because, um, you know, having a certain set of actions and going along with the language going and, you know, so forth, um, if, if my hand is going up at a particular time, it's because that's what I want the character to do. At that mm-hmm. time. At that time. So it's going to go up again. Those words. Yeah, mm-hmm. next time you feel that scene from another angle, it's, it's going to go up. Yeah. Maybe not the exact same vision, yeah. but it's going to be up yeah. there. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, it's, it's, it's a matter of, be, of, of having a consistency in my, in my mind mm-hmm. that says, uh, although there's a certain... Uh, spontaneity and naturalness to what's happening on film mm-hmm. that um, you know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's the sign of a disciplined actor, basically. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's really key to know that if, if you're saying the words and your hand goes up, right. 
in that. Alyssa example. directed and, says to me, "Don't put your hand up anymore." Right. <laughs> then, but then you right. stop. But then you stop doing it from yeah. that point on. Right. Right. <laughs> no, I know. I know. One of the things I think we're learning in the process is the roles and responsibilities of what people do. You know, Phil's very good at the sound and understanding whether that came. Did that sound good? Did that work? Did that no? It, you could be louder. You could be softer. You know, whatever the thing. We trust him in that. You know, Connor and I do a game plan the night before. We do a game plan the day of. It's like executing the game plan for a football game and saying, "This is our game plan. We know what we're going to take, and this is the scenes we want and the shots we want." Um, and uh, yeah, it was literally Connor's idea to get the shot of you the with the shot. pillow yeah. shot, mm -hmm. and the shot of you seeing it happen. And it, if you look at it, we took a long time getting both all three of those shots, and we kind of went from the shot of you doing you getting scared to to the legs, and it was like literally only forty seconds of of film time, but yet it took like hours to do that. So. Uh, while we're ending, I just want to ask the question to you all. What was your favorite line to say, and how did you prepare for your character? Okay, well, <laughs> that is where I loosened my bowels. <laughs> to know the antelope was my favorite one. <laughs> I had a lot of good ones. Yeah. <laughs> how did you prepare for nurse, night nurse, which you're credited as, which I think Crowther? I was, yeah, I was pretty... Um, uh, conscious about the, the accent. So I think I, I kind of concentrated on mm -hmm. getting that and mm -hmm. listening to a lot of British shows. So <laughs> that was my... <laughs> yeah. Lorraine, favorite line? And how did you prepare for day nurse Healy? Uh, the one to say is probably just a tongue twister one. I can <laughs> just because it took so much time to get it out right. The one to listen to is the, the, the one where he's going on to draw the line. I just love listening to it every time. I'm like, <laughs> I try, I think, I'm like, I was watching my phone, I'm like, I do, I show, I do, I love it. I love that line. Um, and then preparing, I, I have to do it out loud because <clears throat> in your head you think you've got it and it's a totally different mm -hmm. beast when you're trying to get your mouth to say some of these things. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, just saying it, car rides, just saying the lines over and over again. Mm -hmm. I usually do recordings. Mm -hmm. um, I'll have my husband do uh, some of the other work. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's it's interesting, too, because if, if he doesn't have a, the energy of, like, a performer for it, mm -hmm. then yeah. the practice doesn't go well. Once <laughs> yeah. he gets into it, too, like, once you, you really need the extra energy mm -hmm. yeah. to really to bring it, yeah, together uh, to give it a, a more, mm -hmm. like, and to hear it coming back, go, ooh, I hear that. Like, I don't want to say it that way. That, that doesn't, that's not the way I, I'm intending it. So I got to, like, make little micro adjustments to. Favorite, favorite line. Yeah, I, I don't, I can't think of a line as a favorite line. I, mm -hmm. there, there are certain inter exchanges. I love that whole section where he's explaining himself um, mm -hmm. because it, it's just such a cool idea, really, that, you know, what, are, what last words are supposed to be? Mm -hmm. yeah, I mean, and that, that's a lot of fun. What I found more interesting in watching it, and this is why I never, I've never seen I don't see myself mm -hmm. that often, was I, I was really pleased with my facial expressions. And I've been told in the past that I act with my eyes a lot. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I've never really seen that. Mm -hmm. But there were instances in here where I looked at it in the eyes just for, yeah, you know, oh, I see what they <laughs> mean. What they mean. Um, my preparation is, is because I've been, a, I've been a director and I've been a teacher and, as well and, and, and theater, so um, I have a lot of ways I work. For this particular character, um, I, I figured rather than trying to prepare everything, mm -hmm. you know, as you would for the stage, I worked on uh, uh, first on the language itself and, and, and the rhythms of it and so forth, and also on the character, what his intentions were, what, you know, why is he doing this, and, and how is he going to approach it to you know, mm -hmm. come out of the bathroom there. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and then when I got here, I let that character enter into the physicality of what we're doing. So that when I was in the, in the bed, when I was doing the lines and so forth, mm -hmm. I hadn't come to a point where I'd say pre-planned or pre-rehearsed all that. Mm -hmm. But I was confident enough in the character to get into it and do it. Uh, yeah, I was surprised by my voice in this. Voice? How so? My voice. Well, I, I didn't, I was afraid because <clears throat> I've worked stage so much. Um, 
And the, first of all, I was afraid I'd be too loud. Mm -hmm. And I was also afraid that I wouldn't sound old enough, like a guy on his, on his <laughs> proposed deathbed. Uh, but I found the, the, when the words came out, when the voice came out, mm -hmm. uh, I, I liked the way mm -hmm. it came, the yeah. way it worked. And so that was one of my favorite things about it, is being able to see and hear myself in ways that I can't from actually doing it. So Larry, you're very good at getting the actors ready in the rehearsals and getting them there and getting the best out of them. How was it to work with your daughter? Oh, Directing her. Honestly, yeah. that, that was a joy. She, Lorraine, for years, Lorraine was trying to talk me into <laughs> getting involved in theater. Yep. And then one day there was a play at, uh, at Calliope that had a role that uh, I've I thought, okay, yeah, maybe I could do this. So I <laughs> took a chance and went and did the audition. Didn't get the role. <laughs> and then two days later, the guy who did get the role decided he didn't like the role. <laughs> so they called me and said, you want to do it? And I said, no, second best. Yeah, I can live with that. <laughs> <laughs> second choice. Yeah. <laughs> second choice. But ever, ever since then, we have wanted to somehow... Mm -hmm. Be in a play together, act together, whatever. Yeah. That hadn't had. That's never happened, unfortunately. Yeah. Maybe we'll still get that chance. Yeah. Uh, but uh, uh, to be able to do it this way was just as satisfying, just as exciting for me, anyway. Yeah. How bad was I? Well, it was fun. That was all right. See, well, that's what you told me earlier, but that's another story. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so we're going to wrap up. And uh, for before we do, I want to have you guys think of what your last words will be. She's the. Honestly, the uh, working with this group, Larry directing it and, and choosing it from the beginning, directing it, casting it very impeccably. I, I have to give them a huge credit on, on, on casting uh, and putting that together and then watching your rehearsal, watching the, your performances and watching the film. It was a very, very good experience. I hope you enjoyed it. It was great working with all of you. I'd like to work with you again someday in other capacities. That's not my last words he's writing down, but <laughs> hopefully that's my last words. But so anybody got a pillow? Yeah. <laughs> we got mine. <laughs> but it, it was a pleasure, uh, and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Get the word out that our film festival is October 5th, 6th, and 7th in Ashland. Um, <laughs> If you can't get people down there those three dates, tell them that it's going to be up streaming. But don't tell them that until after they say they can't make it for whatever reason. Try to get them in. I like a live performance. I want people to sit there. And I'm hopefully you guys are going to come down one of those nights to see the show or any of that you want. We're going to interview people as they're coming in. That's from the cast. We'll do something similar to this. Uh, and then you get to see your film again on a larger screen and uh, hopefully at a, at a decent audience to get some feedback and how it goes. So thank you very much for all of your work and your dedication going into it, because I know it takes a lot of time to do something like this. So last words. <laughs> We don't have enough time at the end. <laughs> um, I just, I'm very pleased. Thank you. Thank you all of you for making this a fun experience and, and for how we were able to pull it together. Last words. Uh, it was a pleasure. And I liked the surprise of modernizing it. I was expecting to be in a terrible nurse. Uh, <laughs> old. <laughs> Downton Abbey and under, below, I'm like, oh, with the flapping. And I've already done that. So it's nice. It's nice to have a modern take on it. Was Last that words? That was that your stomach? That was me, yes. Is that a stomach? <laughs> Can we keep that in? That would make sure his stomach, his stomach is his last words there. Was, the seat. Was, that, was that your line? Your last words was that your stomach. <laughs> That's it. That's it. All right, we have to end on that. <laughs> thank you very much, everybody. I appreciate it. And thank we'll you. be working with thank you again you. soon. So thank you very much. Yay.